Hey friends, uh, Guppy Rookie. Um, this video is about beginner tips and advice on planted aquariums specifically and general tips. So I'll start off with general tips is biological media is very important in terms of filtration because beneficial bacteria is what does most of the filtering. Uh, you don't really need carbon pads and uh, ammonia removing um, chemicals like you don't need those uh, what you want is maybe in the beginning you could use one to keep the ammonia levels down but what you generally want is a lot a lot of good biological media so biological media I mean those little uh, stones those little cylinders that you see people put the ones that comes in little mesh nets when you buy like aqua clear filters you want bacteria to grow on that so they'll eat up all the harmful chemicals that fish poop out and generally you don't want to start off the tank with a lot of fish just a, just a bare minimum maybe one or two so they can get the bacteria growing on that media and you can start adding fish over a, a couple weeks maybe months until you know that your, your aquarium can sustain the amount of fish you have. So that's very important and what you don't want to do when it comes to cleaning out um, these biological media when it gets clogged is do not rinse it under tap water. Tap water has chlorine and chlorine will kill all the bacteria. So if you ever have clogged biological media and you think oh it's a good idea to rinse under the sink, you know, unclog everything, make it clean, and then you put it back into your filter and all your fish starts gasping for air uh, that's probably because of ammonia poisoning because there's not enough bacteria to fight to eat up all the ammonia so the fish are getting poisoned from it and another thing is to prevent clogging biological media you want to have a sponge filter that traps the, the large particles that the filter takes in such as poop, um, maybe dead leaves whatnot and then as dead leaves or poop um, starts breaking down into like smaller particles it'll run through this uh, sponge and it'll go through the bacteria and the bacteria will eat it up alright so that's all I have for uh, filters so don't you don't need to spend money on all the charcoal and uh, ammonia removing stuff just get biological media and let your fish and tank do its thing all right, now to plant uh, tips. All right, um, what you don't want to do is what I did. Do not have barely an inch or so of substrate. You want as much substrate as you can afford, but within probably, I would say, three or four inches. So I have around maybe an inch or two because the, the tank is actually a little deeper so uh, what you want is maybe four inches so that's around like this much so why uh, why is a deep substrate important you want the roots of your plants to be able to extend downwards hold itself in place and in addition uh, good substrates such as fluorite will have nutrients so your plants will be getting more nutrients uh, by spreading those roots uh, throughout the tank. Uh, what I did wrong in this tank was uh, I should have bought more uh, substrate but it's too late for that now and the problem with not having enough substrate is uh, I have more in the back because I kinda made like an aqua skate but see this roots are not in the substrate so uh, the tanks are floating upwards not getting the nutrients they need through the roots and since water sprite and wisteria take nutrients from the roots they might not grow as well so hopefully the roots at least a couple of roots will take place in the substrate and it'll kinda start dragging the plant downwards but the chances of that happening is quite slim right now uh, what I've done before was use uh, plant sinkers little lead weights to hold the plant in but since there was a lack of nutrients 
you can see from this example uh, the stem kind of rotted off and floated over here so there was no point of this weight same same for this weight over here um, but some some of the plants have rooted such as these two wisteria so that's good uh, other tips if you have high light you want more CO2 and more nutrients and please please know that Anubius and Java moss does not need a lot of light and if you put a lot of light in your you put a lot of light over your tank you have algae problems such as this Anubia leaf right here but um, water sprite grows f fairly fast uh, soaks up a lot of excess nutrients so I should be fighting algae without a problem um, if there's algae on the side of tanks I have a mag float I'll just scrub it off but mainly not a big concern algae is not a big concern for this tank um, more concern of um, CO2 but guess what came in the mail today voila giant jug of Flourish Excel actually two jugs of Flourish Excel because the first one came in half of it spilled out so I talked to Amazon customer support they sent me a new jug free of charge so I have CO2 it'll probably last me six months maybe longer because only the initial dose takes a lot of CO2 and over time you just have to put less and less but I already seen a lot of growth overnight from the initial dose from this kabamba right here this is all from overnight that's around two inches of growth same same for this one it, it was only up to here and it grew that much so that's awesome and final note Jim the angelfish wants to say hello alright wow this is not a long video uh, Thanks for watching. I'll put a summary of what I've said throughout this video if you don't want to watch the whole thing in the description. Alright, Guppy Rookie here. Have a nice day everybody.